Hi, friends. It's Angie Power Disney. Angela'scashes.org is my blog. And this is a wind up uh, interview with Sabine McNeil. I've done a series a few months ago, but revisited uh, the talking to Sabine because. Channel 4, as I've shared in a previous video, are insisting that they will go ahead and publish the documentary made under false pretenses, according to Sabine, you know, using entrapment and grooming. Um, so rather than Sabine just defending herself personally, ever the scientist, she has put together a 22 page by this stage document um, with evidence and sources and so on. And uh, satanic ritual abuse as a global issue, 16 countries and counting. So I've, I've read into the record on BitChute most of it, although there have been additions since it, it's not finalized yet. It should be within, I would say within a week and should be available as a PDF ebook with all the links, this, this is really the, the most effective overview, I would say, since Tim Tate's book, Children for the Devil, which is almost out of print. And if it's available, it's hundreds of dollars and, and was written decades ago. So to me, what Sabine's done is pull together everybody's work in this field and put it under one umbrella in a very methodical fashion. So I'm going to read a couple of articles. I would refer you, I'll, I'll make a blog, and I would refer you to the three audio readings of Sabine's document in progress, and then we'll just wind up and ask you to share this everywhere. So I'm going to go share screen. Here it is. Share. And I'm going to pull up some documents. This is probably the first one. This is a one pager. In in the Sabine's ebook is a link to a full reading of chapter 31 of this gentleman's book, but he's done a synopsis in one page, which might the Christchurch Call is a community of over 130 governments, online service providers, and civil society organizations acting together to eliminate terrorist and violent extremist content online. That's strange. This doesn't look like... The that's they, they've just hijacked the name Christchurch. That has, oh. that's, that's, that's a wrong link. Um, oh. it, should, it should have been a link to hamsterchristchurch.com. No, because so, the, you sent me a link for the one pager. The one page. <laughs> so this is the wrong link. This is a completely wrong link. Okay. All right. Well, because you sent me, a, you said that Joachim is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah, Joachim Hagopian. He's you said Armenian. he, had, you said he had condensed his research into a one-page synopsis. And you don't have that now? No, that's what I clicked on, and that gave me that that other link that I've just shut oh, down. Oh, gee, why? Wait, so I am really, really sorry because that maybe, maybe it's been hijacked maybe that link has been replaced with no uh well oh actually maybe i have to look i have to check my because i google drive have done nasty things to me before yeah sometimes they do that like i know somebody who who made a fantastic um blog and when she couldn't afford to pay for it anymore um they turned it they turned it into a porn site somebody bought yeah, it yeah 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 and turned it into a porn site you know now i need to stop share at the moment oh no i so i've sent you the link and it definitely works the link is in the chat now okay how strange that the other link you gave me went to something completely different well, I came, had come across that. I had seen that link. That's why I recognized it. But uh, but it came via the web archive because most of the links that I'm finding are actually from the web, web archive. You know, but lots of because most of my websites were taken down, and um, um, and of course the critical one, which was HampstedChristChurch.com, the Christine and Sands one, right. 
but it's still uh, it's it, there's and of course I mean you know it's nearly ten years I had forgotten most of it yeah, or yeah, it was yeah. certainly not present in my mind. But what Joachim has put together as a single page overview and in five books is extraordinary. Okay. All right. Well, first of all, I'm going to refresh people's mind on Channel 4's response when Sabine wrote to them and said, I feel coerced into participating in something that was presented to me in a completely different way. This was the response she got. Thank you for your email. We have read and considered your response carefully. Firstly, I'd like to reassure you that the only footage we have filmed of you that is included in the documentary is the interview story films recorded with you in a hotel. No footage filmed in your flat has been used. I've suggested to Sabine that she should do an FOI and get the footage filmed in the flat as it might indicate the lengths to which she was entrapped and deceived, allegedly. We believe that there is a public interest in including your contribution uh, in the documentary and that you were given sufficient information to provide informed consent. That's that's the bottom line. You, you, you assert very strongly that you were not, and you were, in fact, you were given the opposite. The documentary is balanced and, <laughs> and gives you a fair opportunity to express your perspective on the case. I believe you have also been in contact with Story Films, who will respond to you separately. By the way, have they responded? Oh, so and that's that's part of the issue now that having produced the 21 page document as an overview of SRA as a global issue, and the case as being one of oodles of cases, I'm uh, really, really um, angry about two points. One is how I was lured into the interview in the first place, accepting that they arrive here to film me. Then they yeah. show up a day early. Yes. And then present. Then I find out that the, the film is presented as a hoax, quite yeah. explicitly, which they clearly knew right from the beginning. And yes. they lured me into believing that yes. it was not so. Absolutely. And that is just sort of betrayal at so many levels. It's, it's, it's just too obnoxious to be true. And it's so common. I've seen it happen to many survivors that thought they were getting a big platform to to tell the truth and they ended up being uh, similarly uh, entrapped. All right, so I'm going to read this one pager. To whom it may concern, as the author of the five book volume series, Pedophilia and Empire, Satan, Sodomy and the Deep State, I thoroughly expose today's global child sex trafficking network operating at the highest levels of power, primarily for blackmail, entrapment of VIP politicians and entertainers. The satanic death cult led by the power broking bloodlines are the chief overlords behind this worldwide pedophilia scourge. In addition to gatekeepers in law enforcement, the court system and corporate media shielding this dark truth from public awareness, the elites deploy armies of quote unquote professional debunkers, count yourselves among them storybook and channel four and their credentialed titles to routinely undermine, smear, and ruin child abuse victims and witness credibility and their incriminating testimony. When satanic ritual abuse, SRA, first went mainstream in the early 1980s, after the CIA's MK Ultra mind control programming was exposed during the US Senate church hearings, of the mid 1970s, pedo elites presented waves of counter evidence suddenly emerging to obscure this very real and dark worldwide network of children's sexual abuse. By the late 1980s, catchphrases were culturally invented like the quote unquote satanic panic to propagate society's quote overreaction to the emerging scandals. Then the false memory syndrome was invented to plant seeds of doubt in the public mind intended to debunk eyewitness testimony. 
the fact that such false propaganda was conjured up in transparent, failed efforts to discredit the satanic ritual abuse practiced by elite occult secret societies speaks volumes to the lengths the establishment will resort in order to cover up and bury the truth. When the so-called professional experts, like the founding psychiatrists behind the False Memory Syndrome Foundation, were exposed as paedophiles themselves, these hired debunkers lost serious credibility. So much evidence in recent decades has exposed numerous documented child sex abuse scandals, all covered in the Pedophilia and Empire books, many involving children systematically victimized in satanic ritual abuse occult ceremonies. After the Hampstead II scandal surfaced in the United Kingdom nearly a decade ago, based on released videotapes that had gone viral, depicting a brother and sister openly revealing the rampant child sexual abuse occurring regularly at their school and the church, led by their father. Once again, another high profile case made headlines exposing satanic ritual abuse in the exclusive Hampstead community primary schools and the church and some of the home parents' homes and McDonald's and the swimming pool, Finchley Lido, so many venues the children discussed and identified. And, a, and a, a journalist went and walked, uh, this is me editorializing, a journalist went and walked all the areas the children talked about in their disclosures, the shoe shop, the Finchley Lido, the, the McDonald's, the, all the locations the children mentioned were walked by a journalist and, and confirmed as accurate. Back to this. But it didn't take long before police, news media and online websites were countering this exposure, referring to it as the Hampstead hoax. The children's mother, Ella Gariva, and her boyfriend were persecuted, as were child advocates like Sabine McNeil. In book three of my series, I chronicle this scandal in a chapter called the Hampstead Two Whistleblowing Kids Exposed Satanic Cults MK Ritual Abuse Child Porn Operation. I'm writing this in support of Sabine, who, in my opinion, was severely punished, wrongly imprisoned for her ad advocacy work, and made a scapegoat to silence other advocates from coming forth. No matter how much established institutions, be they the judiciary of corporate media, in all their effort to deny, deflect, and cover up this heinous reality of rampant child sex abuse, in the end, truth always prevails. And you say his name. Joachim Hagopian. It's an Armenian name, but he lives Joachim, in America. Joachim Hagopian. I had an uh, Armenian um, secretary. It, she was lovely. Hurik Mesalian, she was called. Original via LinkedIn on Monday, 27th, November, 2023. That's fantastic. Right, now let's go. That's that. No, that's Richard's blog. This is, we've done that. Um, let's just have, this is a blog uh, that has been covering, that did cover the Hampstead case, but also has been covering a current case ongoing about a German vet. And you'll see, in Sabine's 22-page 22 22 ebook, you'll see that uh, foreign nationals resident in the UK, particularly, uh, are a target for having their children taken. I don't know why. Like, the Hampstead children had a Russian mother. This, this, uh, the little boy in the Anglesey case, the mother is a German vet. Now in well, in my experience years. of all of the cases, Angie, that I have accompanied, foreigners are easier targets. They don't know how to defend themselves. They know even less how to defend themselves yeah. in a yeah. foreign judiciary system and to go through the secret family courts. Yeah. Anyway, I would I would I don't agree with Richard on everything, but we both I think have a mutual respect for each other's work. And both particularly worked on the, the Dr. Anka Hill, Dr. Anka Siegert 
case. Uh, so I would recommend his website to people, Richard Carver. He was excluded from the trial, I think on day one, and has suffered again persecution and character smears like anybody that stands up for the truth in this arena. But I do recommend this blog and I'll just read a few bits here and there. They thought they could keep it covered up since the rigged trial of July 2021. It's taken over two years of digging by Carvac WordPress to get to the bottom of the Anglesey child case and crucially to obtain enough evidence. Now, this is very encouraging because Richard has been working with on the spot witnesses, which is very exciting. Janet Stevenson and other child rescuers vindicated. 40-day vigil for official Berwyn, remand prisoner. Okay. Right, the unseen wall behind the wall. Grüße and Anka. Yeah, many people in Germany or from Germany will be looking forward to St. Nicholas Day, which is one week today. The Nicola, Nicola, Nicolaus Tag. Is an important date to many Germans. Barring a great escape, German children's champion Dr. Anke Siegert will be spending St. Nicholas Day plus Christmas and her 54th birthday inside a prison in Yorkshire. But thankfully, she won't be there forever. Caravath WordPress sends greetings to Anke for these important dates in December. Anke, you are loved by many. You read the German part, Sabine. Your German's better than mine. Can you see it? Yes, I can. I just took my magnesium. And <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Denn uns wird ein Kind geboren, uns wird ein Sohn geschenkt und die Regierung wird auf seinen Schultern liegen und er wird wunderbarer Ratgeber, mächtiger Gott, ewiger Vater, Fürst des Friedens genannt werden. Yeah, and to us a son is born. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. Yet it's a scripture, beautiful scripture. And he should be called Wonderful Counselor. Wonderful. Okay. And so go to this, go to this blog and keep a very close eye. And Richard, Sabine would love to talk to you if you can connect. I know you've been very, very cautious about letting anybody into your circle while you and the German team have been working on get gathering evidence in this case um but angie richard has published three posts put in a hamster search on his blog yes. on uh, three posts on 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 yeah. the hamster on hamster and one of them is on the hamster film uh, but yeah, and but so he knew that the channel four film would be a hoax that the case would be presented as a hoax whereas i never knew which side these people were on until the end okay. of the interview right so i'm going to type in hampstead yeah so, and then you get those three posts two where so when oh, he well hampstead are you saying he knew before you got interviewed yeah uh he no no, no, no. So he couldn't no. have changed the fact that you no. got entrapped. No. No. Okay. no so, but he knew that it would be presented as a hoax. Well, I knew and... that. The minute Rupert shared about that they had flown to America and paid for him to go into a, a hotel and, uh, you know, interviewed him, I, I straight away, he said to me, it only dawned on him after they left that he might have been duped. Mm hmm you know, and he said, we better pray, Angie. I don't know how they're going to present this. And he sent them emails afterwards saying, I hope you know I believe the children. But they can choose which parts they include and which parts they leave out. Which is why I'm saying both you and Rupert and Jake and anybody else should do a freedom of information to get hold of all the footage that was filmed and all the correspondence. I mean... Presumably, Rupert has copies of these emails where he said, I hope you don't twist this because I do believe the children or something. You know, I'm paraphrasing, but Rupert can, you know, he can put that evidence out there if he, if he, if he chooses. Anyway, Channel 4 film about Hampstead SRA case. This was September 14th. Yes. Yeah, so this was long after you'd been interviewed, wasn't it? 
Yes, but it was shortly after that news release, which was in August, August. Made by, yeah, yeah, by yeah. Channel 4 in August. Yes, yeah, so Richard's probably just uh, written this blog after that press release in August, because originally it was scheduled for August on a Sunday night at 9 p.m. So it, That's what always, I was told, yeah. Yeah, it's already been deferred, but I'll just read this. Channel 4 is likely to broadcast, likely to broadcast a film on the Hampstead SRA case next year meaning 2024. The film falsely portrays the case as a hoax. Thank you, Richard. Amen. This post is just a brief reminder of the fact that Richard Carbath investigated the case and found it to be a genuine SRA case. Richard was attacked, yep, with no right of reply by da David Aronovich in a 2019 Times article about the case. And again on Twitter in 2021, Alexei Mostras, ex of the Times, who also asserts the case is a hoax, fled at the first sight of Richard on Twitter in 2022. Yes, he went very quiet. Mr. Aranovich has a long history of denying the existence of SRA, and he's perhaps second only to Rosie Waterhouse in the never-ending mainstream media dismissal of the subject as the satanic panic myth. One has to wonder why such people are so eager to deny the obvious and well-evidenced reality of satanic ritual abuse. That's the big question. Yeah. In the, yeah, it's always worth investigating those who, who deny it the loudest. In the yes. UK... Almost all SRA cases are either ignored or else suppressed by state agencies, as well as most major media. There is thus nothing particularly unusual about this Hampstead case getting the hoax treatment. But what is unusual is the ferocity, extent, <clears throat> and repetition of attack from the now long-running campaign to cover up this case. So, and this is a point several people have made. If we were all just crazy people, and if this was always just an amazing uh, performance by an eight-year-old and a nine-year-old with no faltering from their disclosure and total corroboration with each other, whether separated or not, whether under pressure or not, why would they work so hard and spend so much money? Bear in mind, they flew to Germany, they flew to America. This is going to be a glitzy, full-on treatment. It just reminds me of the Prince Andrew interview by the BBC, the Ricky Dearman interview by the BBC, the Bill Clinton, I did not have sexual relations with that girl, with that woman. It's, it's a farce and it's an insult to, it's an insult to normal people that watch these programs anyway. He's featured Roger Moore on having a father in the police force. Jane Donald's live, that's live and let die. Right. Anyway, that's not, so anyway, I, the point is, Richard, if you can reach out to Sabine, that would be great or find, you know, speak to some mutual contact. And if, you know, I understand that the support group in Germany and the many, uh, and the hard work you've done, Richard, just as I did and others, Along the way, um, I understand this thing of trust nobody, but see, there's the title of boy, Anglesey, there's all, all the tags. So that's great. Um, this we can go out because we've read that. This is, again, I think I read this on a previous video, but just to wind up, this, <laughs> this is the way Channel 4 presented it not to Sabine or Rupert or Jake or any of the others, but uh, when they were ready to release it originally in August. Channel 4 commissions accused the Hampstead paedophile hoax from story films. This was not how it was presented to the people interviewed. Channel 4 has commissioned a film that tells the shocking story of how a number of parents and teachers at a Hampstead school were accused of being part of a satanic paedophile ring. The allegations were found to be baseless. <laughs> I tell you what happened. There was a 12-day fact-finding mission 
which was an absolute disgrace. And the judge that conducted it, unlawfully, because it should have been criminal, not family court secret, retired. Without representation of yes, the mother. Yes, retired very young and, and, and moved to Israel. And somebody interestingly sent me a message recently, I wonder is she still in Israel? But the conspiracy theory caught the online leading to death threats, caught fire online, leading to death threats, harassment and abuse, much of which continues today. Uh, more likely for the campaigners uh, and the truth tellers, I would assert. The well, also, not even the judge used the term conspiracy theory. This no. is now what Channel 4 invents. Yes, yes, yes. This is a real, real hatchet job. The mothers at the heart of this chilling story speak for the first time. They ha they spoke in court. Are you mad? They exactly. Were, it's not the first time. in every court case. They, they, were... they, they are just using the narrative yeah. of my court case yeah. as the story for this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mother, wouldn't yeah. have, it have been honest to, to let me know that? Yeah, absolutely. The mothers at the heart of this chilling story speak for the first time in this ambitious feature-length documentary, which blends real archive footage and interviews with lip sync drama. I wonder why they're using lip sync drama of actresses speaking. What are they afraid of? Why did the priest testify behind a curtain in the court for goodness sake? The story begins when videos were released online of two children accusing parents of their friends. I'm not, it just makes me so angry. I've read this before and you can, people can, you know, you, you're going to include that in the in. Have you included that in your ebook? Uh, um, but at the bottom, you notice the director is Emily Turner, yes, and yes. she is the one who uh, uh, was, if you like, the bad cop in the game, and yeah. uh, who revealed that she had spent time with a, a lot of time with a the lot mothers. of time with the mothers. It, to me, it's as if these mothers have have influence with the media it's almost as if the mothers have commissioned this it's almost as if they've commissioned uh, a documentary to quote unquote clear their names they were never interviewed they were never examined that other named children were never interviewed dearman's uh, uh um, technology wasn't wasn't examined until maybe a year later i spent two days with somebody uh, supposed to be the world's foremost specialist on parental alienation and even he dropped out of doing a report for Scotland Yard because they weren't answering his questions adequately he, he did he, he made a preliminary report which they published but when he went back and he was being paid to do this to try and make the case for parental alienation poor Ricky and uh, he went back to them with some very important questions and Scotland Yard didn't have the answers for him. So he, he stood down. He stood down and refused to do any more work. Director Emily Turner, editor Simon McMahon, executive producers Adam Hopkins and Peter Beard, composer Ed Harcourt, commissioning editor, please somebody do some research on this person, Shaminda Nahal. Right, so that's that. And um, this we've read. Oh, I did have it open. We'd read that. So other than there was one other thing I wanted to share. I'll just out of that. Um, one other thing I wanted to share. That That's enough for now. I just want to give it to you, Sabine, to wind up and encourage people. I want you to give out the email address where people can contact you for a copy of this ebook because the links, it, although it's only 22 pages, the links in it are worth gold all in one place under one umbrella. This, this is like a month's research for anybody saying, I didn't really know about satanic ritual abuse. How can I help? And what can I do? This is a, an absolute crucible for researchers and for people to catch up quickly. Um, so Sabine will give an email address where you can obtain a copy of this. As far as I know, it's it's free. Um, and I would encourage people to make a voluntary donation, whether it's 
via Patreon or whether it's via PayPal or whatever way, and, and Sabine hasn't said this, it's me saying this, she has been, she spent four years in jail. She's recovering from that and is daring to put her head above the parapet again, just to give a scientific overview of, for anybody that didn't know, doesn't know, believes the hoax cover up nonsense, take a look at the evidence here. So I'll hand it over to you just to wind up, Sabine. And um, shall we give out uh, the email address that, that people can con? In fact, I would say it'll take a week to get this out anyway. I've got a little bit of editing to do and um, a blog to write. So yeah, probably by the time this goes out, people can email you. So what is the email address that people can contact you on, Sabine? The email address is fake hoax film by channel four at aol.com. But I think it's really necessary that you put that also uh, in the description of the of the video. All right, let me run um, for just a moment. So the email address, fake hoax. hoax film by channel four at aol.com. And is for uh, the number four. Anyway, you can send me that email. You can send it to me as a link. When you say channel four, are you using four the number or F O U R? No, 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 for the number. They use that okay, in their okay, email yeah. address right. as well. So people, anybody who's interested in acquiring this ebook that that has taken blood, sweat, and tears, and I've worked closely with Sabine and other people have given input and so on and so forth. It's a team effort, but Sabine's the one that's uh, pulling it all together and put it in a document um and as i say it's free if you if you if you're a survivor if you can't afford it you won't it won't be withheld from you but if you can i would strongly encourage and i i will encourage sabine to either activate a paypal or set up something where she can just just be given a token of our appreciation of everything she has endured for the sake of getting this truth out there so Thank you, questions? Angie. I mean, I I may end up looking at a, uh, putting it on a on a Patreon page because I believe what you have put together in terms of the audio of the chapter thirty one produced by Joachim Hagopian and all of his five books, but then his one page summary is all precious. But the real gold dust are the two Swiss films that, that they put SRA on the global map first with the title 27 victims 27 well, I'd, I'd be reluctant to say first because we had um the franklin cover up uh cover up of the century and um, book and we had uh children for the devil by tim tate it's not about who was first but they have gone global recently the swiss films have gone global recently that's definitely true it's not that they've gone global. They have described global okay, witnesses. Okay, okay, okay. 27 victims was the first one. And that was that was released in June this year. Okay. And that created so many reactions that a, another uh, site called 50voices.org was created, yeah. which produced the 23 missing victims. And then 111 victims. Yeah. Yeah. 50 perpetrators so and more... that film had two million views in three weeks yeah that's fantastic and this but is... i also wanted to say that jim jim tate's tim tate's book i read in the british library because it was pulped yeah. because yeah. one uh, police officer could have possibly been uh, interpreted to have done something not quite correctly <laughs> I mean, God forbid, it I was know. just really horrible. And yeah. Tim was completely sore and wounded about that yeah, whole yeah. situation as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did an audio reading of that book as well. And he, he was kind of very reluctant to have it go out there again publicly. I imagine he and his, he disappeared for quite a while to the point that people in America contacted me and said, we, we, we're concerned for his well-being. Is he even still alive, you know? So I did manage to track him down, um, but it seemed, you know, not everybody is willing to keep 
putting their head over the parapet to get it shot down by the likes of Channel 4 or the Times newspaper, you know, or whoever else, or the BBC, whoever else does these cover-ups, you know. Well, I mean, I I was lured into the same kind of a trap by by the very Alexi that uh, uh, Richard Alexi mentions Mostrous, as well. Uh, yeah, and before that, Channel 4 um, Radio Melanie Abbott. This is a pattern. Radio 4, BBC Radio 4, yeah. yeah. Radio 4, Melanie Abbott. Yeah, Alexi Mostras, Alexi Mostras, Tortoise. And, and now Channel 4, I mean, uh, uh, and or story films. I mean, I don't yeah. know who, who who was first, who, were, who yeah. are the, the colluding players, but it is just so terrible, yeah. especially because Channel 4 produced this remarkable uh, uh, dispatches report called Listen yeah. to the Children. In the past. Beatrix they, yeah. Campbell in 1990. Yeah. And uh, Andrew Boyd, who wrote the book Blasphemous Rumors, which I gave to my barrister, he put also a dispatches program together called Beyond Belief. Yeah. No, they, in 1992. Gone, so yeah. I presumed that Channel 4 is on the right track. I know. When I was young and graduated university, and then I did a year postgrad in journalism. I used to think, oh, I'd love to work for Channel 4 or BBC. That would be amazing. You know, and I used to think Dispatches was a great programme and Roger Cook and News Newsnight or whatever it was called. You know, I don't know what's happened to them. I, they must all be blackmailed. They must all be compromised. You know, it's horrible. They must, that's all well, I, I looked into the devil's work, the Cook report as well. I mentioned that in uh, my report as well. And... Uh, the original videos cannot be found anymore, except yeah. the ones that have been annotated and for edit editorial reasons to kind of, um, well, throw a different light on them. Because David Cameron was head of media in, in um, it might have been called Granada TV or something at the time. Oh, that yeah. Was, that was making those cutting edge documentaries. And because they were so desperate to shut them down, um, I think it was Carlton Television oh. bought out Granada TV in order to, and then said they had a fire and they'd lost all the footage <laughs> in a fire. So if nothing else, what Sabine has done and is saying is think very, very carefully before you get seduced by the big time on mainstream media to tell your story because the likelihood is they're going to tell the their uh, story yeah yeah their narrative the cover-up all right sabine thank you so much and um uh, i'll i'll leave i do suggest that you have a paypal or something you will come under attack you know but you've already got a patreon to do with your mathematical work i suggest you keep the two issues separate the maths and the... I haven't published anything yet. Okay. I, I, no, 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 no. I've just only looked at the page just to see. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Well, um, thank you very much. And uh, we should have this out in about a week. And um, I suggest we coordinate and anybody can share this and the series, which will be in the blog. Um, anybody, anybody and everybody who cares about the truth of SRA not being covered up again. Um, please share this and thank you so much. God bless. Thank you, Sabine. Thank you, Andy. All right, au revoir. Au revoir, la mon pierre. <laughs> Tschüss.